While many graphics can be created in After Effects, there will be plenty of times when you'll want to animate files created in other applications, like Photoshop files or Illustrator files, you know, photographs and video files. To get started, we're going to import a couple of different kinds of files. The first way you can import assets into After Effects is by going up to the menu bar and clicking on File, go to Import, and choose File. Navigate to wherever you saved your project files, and you notice I have an Assets folder saved right next to them. So I'm going to open up the Assets folder, and in here, we'll go ahead and import a couple of different assets. The first one I want to import is the Summer Camp Badge Illustrator file. So I'll click once on that file, and then down here at the bottom, I have a couple of different options. I want to make sure that Illustrator PDF Sequence is not selected. And under Import As, I'll just import this as footage, which means it's just going to go ahead and flatten any possible layers that are involved with that Illustrator file. I don't need to create a composition, and I'll go ahead and just click the Import button. And now that file's been brought into the project panel, and notice it's automatically selected, and I'm getting a preview over a black background here in the project panel. If I want to preview that file larger, I can go ahead and just double click directly on the file and that'll open here in the footage panel. Notice it looks like it's the composition panel, but it's really not. See the white line under the footage panel? This is letting me preview in the footage panel. If I click this white X to the left of the word footage, that'll go ahead and close that panel. Another way to import is to double click in the project panel. Navigate back to that assets folder and this time I'll import both the Blue Mountains and the Camper Mountains file. I'll click on the first one, hold down shift, and click on the next one, and they're both selected. Again, want to make sure multiple sequences is not selected, and then I'll go ahead and just click import, and both those elements will be imported right here into the project panel. I could use drag and drop if I had an explorer window or a finder window, and I could drop things directly into the project panel. But another great way is to use the new composition from footage button because I want to import some video footage and create a composition from that footage. So I'll click on the new composition from footage button. And you guessed that I'm going to find a video clip. So I'll click once on this road trip camp MP4 file and I'll click import. And not only has that file been imported, but I've also got a composition that matches those settings and it's already created the first layer in the composition. So as you can see, there are plenty of different ways you can import files into After Effects. The most important thing to remember is the fact that these files are not embedded with the project file, so you want to make sure to keep everything well organized on your hard drive before you bring it into your After Effects project.